Hi, I'm Ishmina reporting from the exhibition area at GeoSmart Asia. The largest exhibition in the Asia Pacific region has been constantly attracting industry leaders to display their cutting edge technology. Let's have a look at what's on display this year. Uh, my name is Jason. I'm from Hewlett Packards, Malaysia, the large format uh, Protter divisions. Okay, so today I'm going to share with you uh, one of our hero machines. We call it a multi function uh, printer. The model is the T2500. Okay, what's so special about this printer? Okay, this printer is a, uh, we call it 3-in-1. As mentioned, it's a multi-function printer. So, user can use it to print, scan, and even copy. Okay, so uh, from here you can see, this uh, upper part is a scanner. Okay, this machine comes in two rows. Okay, so you, uh, user can put two different of, uh, sizes of media. I mean, uh, uh, different type of row of paper, or maybe this different type of uh, media like uh, photo paper, uh, normal tracing paper, or even a uh, white, uh, white card, I mean uh, normal uh, coated paper also can. Okay, so uh, this, this, this product comes with a touch screen monitor, as you can see here. Okay, it can it also come with a USB port. Okay, so it allows user to put whatever, uh, to print directly via the plotter. Because uh, this water also embedded with, uh, I mean, uh, embedded PC. There's a small PC inside the uh, plotter. So the another advantage of this plotter is uh, user can, the plotter will process the printout whenever user send the, the those uh, copies to to the machines to print. So the printer will do the processing rather than the plot, the, I mean, the desktop or laptop to do the processing. So it won't jam up your bandwidth. Because nowadays we know those drawing software uh, like uh, CAD software um, uh, and other brands, okay, drawing will keep on very complicated. Okay, so definitely it will eat, uh, take much of uh, bandwidth or even the, the drawing sizes it keep on higher and higher like up to 3 gigs okay, per drawing. So the advantage of in-printer processing in HP Okay, so it allow the user after it send the, the print job to the printer, okay, let the printer do the processing. So it won't, you can free up your desktop or laptop, uh, uh, I mean the, the memories, to, for you to continue do your, your next drawings or your next job. And let the printer to do the printing. My name is uh, Eric Broussoulou. I'm I represent a French company called Imao. Um, we are focused on the acquisition, data acquisition from aircraft. So uh, we produce different kind of data, a photograph taken from aircraft, lidar survey, and also oblique photos. With that kind of photos, we can create urban 3D models. We can see a demonstration of the model on the screen. This, it looks like an orthophoto, but in fact this is a, a real uh, a thin model. We can have a view, oblique view, we can zoom. This is Paris, and you don't need any more to go to Paris. You can make a touristic view everywhere in Paris. In fact this is a an aerial triangulation. This is a photogrammetric process uh, using uh, photographs at 10 centimeter resolution. We calculate automatically uh, points visible on each image. We create the thin model. This is a kind of DSM. And we put the pictures on the face on the of the building and it looks like really flying over Paris. This is the Eiffel Tower. So, thanks to this technology, composed by two components, oblique photos and a software that will produce the model. This, um, this software is um, produced by Bentley. Uh, anybody can purchase it. Uh, you need just uh, oblique acquisition and you create by yourself the model. It could be very interesting for various applications like um, 
evaluation of impact of new building in, a, in an old city, consultation for promotion, touristic promotion of a city, city planning, many, many applications, including flooding. Hello, uh, I'm BC, I'm from Faro, Singapore. So today I'm in Malaysia, um, attending Geosmart uh, Malaysia 2015. Um, today, Faro, uh, in our booth, we you know, have a series of products. Uh, we just actually introduced a new addition to our range of products. So before we go into that, maybe just a quick introduction to our existing product, um, which is the Faro Focus Scanner. It's one of the best-selling scanner in the world today. Um, so this scanner, we actually have two models. Right, uh, one is um, 330 meters in range, and this is 130 meters in range. So, what this uh, product does is actually scan almost a spherical uh, data. So every scan is actually capturing many, many data points. Okay, how many data points? You ask me. Every second is actually picking up almost a million, almost a million points per second. Right. So, by doing a quick scan of this environment like this, may take up to five minutes. So you can imagine how much data points you can pick up. Um, and doesn't just capture data points, it actually uh, does pick up images because it can't be quit with a 70 megapixel camera. So every um, scan image that you get can be colorized and you can, you can actually see exactly what is being scanned. All right. So important thing is that because it's data points, you can actually use that data for a lot of calculation purposes. And it's being widely used in like you know, survey fields, manufacturing even, uh, even crime scene investigations and many, many places. Right. So that is the uh, primary the laser scanner. It's one of the lightest, smallest in the world. Right. It's so small that people is carrying this, you know, to the mountain top, to a small cave. Right. When it's going up the mountain to do a scanning of the cave, they are bringing it up to very inaccessible places like historical sites. Right. So that they can just scan historical uh, sites for you know visual preservation. So the other one that we have today is the new product that we have, which is called the uh, Freestyle, Freestyle 3D. Right. This is a smaller uh, handheld device to complement what we have for the Focus 3D. Uh, being handheld is more accessible to those you know, difficult to reach places. So it's a short range scanner. You know, there's a, it's one button device, one button start stop device, and just at the press and the whole operation starts. And you press again, it stops. Uh, it's being connected to a tablet like this, you actually get to see exactly what you're capturing. Right. So, you know, so if you realize that you are not capturing certain areas uh, well enough or you don't have enough data points, you can immediately go back or on the spot, you can just scan again. Obviously, being a scanner, the more you scan, the more data points you pick up, you know, the, the, scan, the more uh, dense the scan the images will be. Right? So the advantage of this is you get to have an instant feedback on, on the product itself. Right? So this, these data points here integrate together with the Focus 3D. Right? So it goes, that's why I meant by it can be complementary. So you do this, you scan a big area, and you get, you know, for example, underneath this cabinet, you can use the scanner and scan these areas, and you get a very complete, uh, you know, scan image. Right, so this is basically what uh, we're presenting today. Okay, what we have over here is a mock-up, right, of a very typical survey kind of uh, equipment setup. So this setup is just to show you that, you know, uh, the laser scanner can be used for survey industry. It, it, all you need is just a tripod, all right? and the scanner is you're, you're practically done okay so it's small enough that uh, all this device can be packed into a backpack and it's a one-man operation i think that's what essentially what we're going to show typically for most survey operation you need two three something even four percent to complete one survey um, job all right with a laser scanner like this usually it can be done one one person so i think that's a big benefit of uh, the banded laser scanner over some traditional methods